Hello and welcome. I'm Lynn of Lynn X Stitches Creates and welcome to a special floss tube edition unboxing of the March Black Needle Society subscription box. Um, I just got it. I have only cut the tape, wherever the tape is, there it is <laughs> down there. I haven't, you can see it's still very tight. Um, so let's get into it. As you know, we've been waiting for this one. There were some supplier issues, and but they finally got it out. And of course, Katie had COVID and oh, crazy. So it is our Garden Life stitching box. And um, of course, on the back is the stitching challenge, which will start next week. So that's good. You all have time to get your boxes. Um, we have some of our featured from the January box. Yay. And of course, you know, there's always a letter from Katie and Laura. And then the next box that's was on sale um, in July, coming in July, is our Buds Worthy Stitching. So I put that over there. I can't cheat because I can't see it. <laughs> Or not well. <clears throat> so let's just jump in. So there's a big box here. So let's see what it is. Oh, that's cute. So if you guessed a mug, you're right. But it's a very cute mug. It said, Who let the frogs out? <laughs> but it's like a little. It's a, it's a pot with a handle. So you could potentially plant a plant in here or, you know, drink out of it. That is really, really cute. Oh, I like that one. And it's big because, you know, if I'm going to have a cup of tea, I want a cup of tea. Don't try to sting me. And I know my dad was the same way about coffee. So, all right, let's see. Who let the flop from... At it again. Who let the frogs out? Planter mug artwork by Inc. Eagle Inc. While a frog is a fine garden friend, we'd prefer they not be let out while stitching. Use this mug for sipping a warm beverage or planting this spring. Very cute. I like that a lot. Ooh, what's this? Now we have a bag. And it's a velvety bag. And it's tied at the top. So I need to untie it. Oh my gosh. I feel like I should be feeling it to see if I can guess what it is before I open it. Okay. There's a few things in here. Get them all out. Okay. There's a suction cup. And, okay, this is from Windburn Art. Okay, care instructions. And so now I've got bubble wrap to unwrap. I wonder if it would just be easier to use my scissors. Dropping it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So I'm thinking you could use it either side. Isn't that beautiful? I believe it's a lily. Stained glass. It's all hand done. That's beautiful. Um, put that down before I, before I drop it. Uh, 
bloom glass ornament handmade by Angie Winburn. Angie is a stained glass artist and handcrafted each of these blooms individually for our March stitchers. Hang yours from a window to catch the light and enjoy the full effect. Each bloom is unique. So that is just really pretty, really beautiful. Got some blues, got those orangey turquoises. The back one is just plain red. And I have a window here in my craft room that I'll hang it on. So isn't that gorgeous? That is a lot of work. And she sent a, uh, a card with the <laughs> number that it is. And I got number 68 of the run. So there you go. That's really cool. Okay. Have to make sure that suction cup sticks because I wouldn't want it to fall and break. Okay. Because... I don't have a lot of good luck with suction cups. Oh, here's another little bag. And this is something that needs no introduction. I have one at my stitchy spot and I carry them with me. I have a little flower needle threader. These are great. If you don't have one, you need one. You need to keep one with you because there's just times and with that particular kind, you can run it under your threads to pull in um, like if you have an end that's just too short or it comes loose, you can run it under, use some tweezers, get those threads full and pull it back through. It's, it's great. It's worth it. Handy, handy to have. Um, wild flower threader curated by the Black Needle Society. To me, those skeins with this handy, I'm sorry, that's not what it says. Not to me. Tame those skeins. <laughs> this is live, folks. This is the way you get me on a daily basis. Tame those skeins with this handy and adorable threader. They are very handy. I'm happy to have another one. Okay. Oh, another little baggie. And look what's in this one. You've got a little snail and the black needle society likes snails so what does what is he for uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. snail tea tag holder curated by the black needle society we couldn't resist sending this helpful little garden friend when we found him hang him over the edge of a teacup cup and slide your tea label under so it doesn't spoil your garden side beverage. So he will go like this. He's being stubborn. And then you can put your, when you have a tea bag, you can put the string or the label under there and that keeps it from falling in because you know, that happens. That is adorable. He may just live on this mug. I may just use keep this mug in here and just use him on the mug. I, I, I really love this mug. I don't know why. Okay, let's see. Oh, little scissors. So, flower power scissors. Made by... Kelm Scott Designs. We suppose you could use these for your garden clippings, but we recommend you only use them to snip thread while stitching. So very happy scissors. And they're small enough that you could take these on the airplane with you. Oh, and they're nice and sharp. Love them. Love them. So flower power scissors. Okay, and I see some flaws. Ooh, 
<laughs> Forbidden fiber. Okay, so we have the secret garden. And look at all those colors in there. There's purple and red and yellow and white. We have wildflower. It's kind of a terracotta, and that's pretty true to the color it is. And oh, this one says wildflower too. that green. I wonder if that was an oops. I'll ask Leah. Anyway, um, wildflower specialty floss trio. Which wildflowers did you receive? Each stitcher received a skein of secret garden and two random skeins of wildflower. Oh, okay. So, they're, they're both supposed to be wildflower. That's cool. All wildflower colors are meant to complement Secret Garden, but they are not the same two skeins from box to box. So that'll be fun. So now it's really fun to watch all the unboxings and when it's time for the uh, photo challenge next week to see what other colors. I love this green. This green is gorgeous. It's almost Gary green. If you watch, if you know Garon, Gary from Garon, it's almost his green. But they do, they, they uh, completely complement Secret Garden. So pretty, so, so pretty. Okay. Uh, needle minder. And you can rip off the top, but it's just as easy to pop it open when you're not trying to rush. I'm trying to rush just in case my internet goes out because we're, it is Wednesday, April 5th, and we have storms coming in. We're on tornado watch until five, wind advisory till eight. So I don't think we're gonna get anything really bad, usually by the, because I'm on the east side of Cincinnati. So um, a lot of times Cincinnati will kind of disperse whatever storms, so. Okay, so there's our needle minder. It is a seed packet. Isn't that pretty antique seed packet? Um, Stitcher Seeds Needle Minder, designed by the Black Needle Society. We were inspired by vintage seed packets to create this month's needle minder, but Stitcher's seeds don't grow any ordinary flower they sprout silk flowers. So very pretty. I don't know if I can get it to focus better. Very, very pretty. And then we've got 32 count hydrangea. Who did this? the fabric where's the fabric fiber on a whim love their fabric so look at that oh candy you're gonna be jealous look at that that is so pretty okay so we have um Hydrangea cross-stitch fabric dyed by fiber on a whim. This fabric may have been chosen with enthusiasm by Laura, <laughs> of course, our resident purple lover. We think it's absolutely stunning and, the per and perfect for some springtime stitching. I totally agree. Totally agree. That is gorgeous. Okay. I'm gonna move some of the packing material. And we have some project stickers. Ooh, oh, that's really nice. Okay, so each of these stickers has where you can put the name of your design, the designer, who stitched it, the date, and then if you change anything, you know, whatever notes you wanna put. If you wanna put the name of the person you want to have it when you're gone, some of you are younger. You don't need to worry about that. Me, not so much. Isn't that nice? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six projects I can put mark 
the back of. Um, Etymology Project stickers, artwork by Avalon Rose Design. Just as entomologists label and document their collections, you can do the same. Use these project stickers to keep track of your project's details. I like that. That's, that's a really good one too. Um, getting close, getting close. We have a bookmark. And it says, if you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. Francis Hobson Burnett, The Secret Garden. I taught The Secret Garden every year that I taught fifth grade. And there was always something new that I found in that book. Um, I didn't like it the first time I read it. And I was, some of the themes in there, um, were a little confusing, but as I delved into it more with my students, I loved it more and more. So, and this is a seed ring to plant. So the bookmark, Secret Garden Seeded Bookmark, artwork by Hey Atlas Creative. Detach the seeded paper flower from the bookmark and plant it where you'd like to visit your own secret garden. So I have, I have a pot in here. My husband gave me a teapot. Um, that's quite wild colors, <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> he gave it to me for Mother's Day last year. And of course, I am not a plant person. You know, if God, it can't be outside for God to take care of it, it's gonna die. But for whatever reason, this particular little plant, I had it in here in my craft room, which was at a spot that the cats are not allowed to be. Um, I'm never, I never let the cats in here when I'm not in here. So they didn't see it for the longest, longest time. And it was great. The plant, a couple of the, one of the plants died. Um, Another one I was able to itch along for a while and then that died and then it was just bamboo, which, you know, if you've dealt with bamboo, it's really hard to kill bamboo. Well, that is until the cat finally noticed it and then started sneaking up and jumping out. Like if I'd go to the bathroom and leave the door open, the cat was chewing on the bamboo, killed the plant. So now that pot is empty. <laughs> so maybe I'll try to grow those seeds in there and see if that works. All right, you don't want to hear all this. You are waiting for the final piece of our box. Our pattern. It's by Jeanette Douglas. And I'll have to be honest, you know, I, like I said, I'm not, I, I love flowers. I love to visit them. I love seeing gardens. My husband's aunt was an amazing gardener. Her, her backyard in Alexandria, Virginia was, was the secret garden. I mean, you know, the front of the house was very nice and clean and clean, but you went out in the backyard and, you know, they had worked on this yard for 40 years and it was, it was amazing. So, you know, for me, garden box, okay, yeah, no. I've loved everything. This, this is honest truth. I'm not just saying it because I'm a rep. I have loved everything in this box. This pattern, I will be stitching this pattern. That's all I can say. So here's the pattern. Here's the garden box. Look at that. Look at that, that quail. Ugh. So pretty, so, so pretty. So they stitched it on Alcott by Needle and Flax. Um, the sampler is 59 by 65. The two smaller squares are 30 by 32 and 31 by 31. And the long one is 28 by 95. So those are all very nice size pieces. Not, not, you know, terribly big or anything. And it's Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works. 
and two DMC. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Katie and Laura, maybe you are making me into a gardener. I don't know. At least the stitchy one. So, gorgeous, gorgeous, even more gorgeous. Um, fun, fun, useful things. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, um, so remember, if you receive this box, please participate in the photo challenge. Um, you don't have to do it every day. You don't even have to do it you know, more than once. You could just post a picture and be entered into the drawing. Um, you're entered to win a $25 Etsy gift card. Everybody can use those. I just spent $25 on Etsy last night, but it was a sale. <laughs> um, so that starts April 11th and um, you have to have all your photos posted by April 30th to be in for the drawing. And each photo is one entry into the drawing. Make sure you tag not only within your, you know, it, within your post, Black Needle Society, but tag your picture as well, because that way that makes it easier for them to find them. And of course, use the hashtag Garden Life Stitching BNS. Um, yeah, and then if. You are not a subscriber. You haven't gotten lucky enough yet to get a subscription. Um, items from this box, because it went out late, are going to be available May 1st in the vault. And yes, of course, you can use my code LIN5 on any purchase anytime this year. So you could purchase something now, you could purchase something in October. You can still use my code. It's not a one-time deal anytime you shop. So, Lynn 5 for 5% off. I will see you on Monday for my next floss tube. Thunder's getting louder. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you. Happy stitching. Bye.